hey girl welcome and welcome back to the channel my name is cheryl and on this channel we talk about fashion and lifestyle beauty and a little bit of vlogs so if you are interested in any of those things please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video so in today's video it is going to be a kind of a get ready with me i do want to spend the day filming so i want to just like do a little bit of makeup nothing too much it's just put on something a little light not too heavy and then we're going to do the hair um you may have seen in a short that i posted about three weeks ago i did do a quick weave on myself it was my very first time i again am not a person who does my own hair so that was very new and different for me but i think i did a pretty good job like i said we are in week three and it's still glued to my head they're not falling out so i think i did pretty well but there is obviously some room for improvement there are some things that i think um i took note of that i want to change the next time that i attempt to do this um quick weave look but i do think i did a great job i do like it i think it gives me a really nice break from just like having to deal with my hair or put heat or damage to my hair i do have some leave out so this portion of the hair is mine and um yeah i do need to do something with that part and then kind of like straighten out the back just good enough for today to film a few videos because i do plan on um washing my hair and taking this out this weekend or maybe early next week so um that is the plan for today so let's go ahead and get into putting on a, a little bit of makeup i've already washed my face and did my skincare did my moisturizer and sunscreen please ladies make sure you are putting on your sunscreen and the moisturizer that i use today by olay had um, spf in it so i didn't need to do two separate products it was only spf 15 and i think it is recommended to use at least 35 but it's raining outside today i won't be going outside so i think the 15 will suffice um for today but i do try to use the recommended amount of 35 or higher so we're going to start with a primer and i probably don't even need to put on a primer either because i'm not going anywhere but just for the heck of it we're going to use a primer so i'm going to use this elf liquid poreless putty primer and we're just going to do a little bit of this on both sides of the face so like right here on my cheeks rub that in and on this side rub that in so what i've been hearing while watching youtube videos is that you don't need to put the primer all over your face just put it in your problem areas so this is a poreless primer and it is good for you know minimizing the look of pores so i want to put it in the areas where my pores give me problems and that's literally right here in this area and then we're not going to do a foundation we're going to do this danessa myrick's yummy skin i think this is like um what was this a blurring balm powder i really like this stuff i really like it I feel like it gives really nice coverage and i don't need to apply like multiple products like i literally put this on and that's it i don't need to go behind it with a powder or anything like that and being a beginner at this less is definitely more so when i can have fewer steps i use your fewer steps so we're going to use this sephora 64 blush and we're just going to tap in it like this and then press it into the face just like this now i don't like the smell of this i don't know if they all smell this way but i don't particularly like the scent of it it smells like a bug spray to me but it could just be me and this i am in the shade 8.5 i think i tried the shade 9 but i just feel like that was just a little too dark for my liking it worked 
but I feel like it, it was just a little dark. So I returned it. So I returned it and picked up the shade underneath, which is this 8.5. And I think this shade matches me better. I don't know. You let me know down in the comment section below. Do I need to go darker? Or do you feel like this is a good enough shade? Just to kind of like even out my complexion. But you let me know. So this is what it looks like. And I literally did not use much of this at all. I didn't take much. And literally, that's basically all that that's basically it that we're going to do with the makeup i'm going to brush my brows a little bit i finally had them threaded about a week ago i think in a vlog i did a while ago my last vlog but it was a while ago i was contemplating going to get my eyebrows Done. I mean that was I wasn't contemplating that was actually one of the things to do on my list when I left the house that day but it didn't get done and I literally just had them done last week so yeah I really really neglected them but I think they look really good like I said I have them micro shaded and then I just get them cleaned up um I try to do that once a month, but last month I totally did not do it. So I have them done and this is what they look like. And I just brushed them. I didn't, I'm not going to do anything else to them. So that is that. So we're going to now, oh, before I go, do you notice anything new about your girl? I have my ears pierced. Like, are people still getting their ears pierced? This was such an impromptu thing to do. Like, I was not at all considering thinking about any of that getting my ears pierced. But I was going through, like, my jewelry. And I realized that I had some studs. Not these, because these are the ones that, you know, you purchase when you're getting the ears pierced so these are the piercing studs but i have some other studs that are just a little bit bigger than this that i never wear and i've had them for over 12 years but i never wear them because if you can tell my ears i feel like they don't lay down like they poke out so i feel like i need to wear earrings that are heavier or that kind of like hangs on my or that kind of hang on my lobes to pull them down and those studs just don't do that for me this one and let me tell you it still hurts like I had this done last week the same time um, I had my eyebrows done I had gotten this and it still hurts like I can touch it now but girl last week I couldn't even touch it like it just hurts so bad this one is still sore this one is still slightly sore but i can touch it this one is taking a lot longer to heal so i don't know it's been a week yeah it's been a week and a couple of days and i'm just ready for it to to heal i don't know like how long does this take to heal i don't know but I've learned my lesson. I will not be getting any other piercings anywhere on my body. Tattoos, done with those two. I had a tattoo on my foot that I got a few years ago, like a while ago. And that one like almost took me out. So I'm just like, yeah, no more tattoos for me. Now there are no more piercings for me. I'm done. I'm over it. But I do think it's cute. Like, what do you think? I think it's real cute. And then once I put my other studs in i think it's gonna be really cute so anyway i have to keep these in for six weeks or so before i can change them out but that's that's what's new with me oh and the other um new thing like in the closet when it comes to organization is i've added um 
a little space for my flat irons and curling irons when I'm doing my hair because I was using it a lot with this quick weave. But because of my vanity situation, I don't have a lot of room on this tabletop. I was just tired of bringing in another table to put the flat irons on or even tired of putting them on my glass countertop. So I decided to get like this rubber. Let me just show you. So I decided to get this. So I decided to get these little rubber mats from Amazon and they are like heat resistant to put inside of this drawer. And I can just, you know, plug my curlers up and then just lay them there while I'm like combing and prepping my hair to get ready to use. And then once I unplug them here, this is where they're plugged up at. And then once I unplug it, it can just stay open until they cool down and then I can wrap them back up and close it. But yeah, I like that little setup um, right now. So that is what I am using. But okay, I've talked enough. Let's go ahead and jump into this hair so like I said this is about what three weeks that I've had this quick weave in and I think it held up pretty nicely I do want to um, try this again I don't know if I'll I don't know when I'll do it again but I definitely want to try it again and then just tweak a few things like for one I want to use a black stocking cap as my base and not a brown one that's what I'm using now but you can just see it peeking through. So I have to be really careful when I'm like brushing my hair to make sure I'm covering up the brown stocking cap. And um, so I'll use a black one. And then I also want to try to do, I think it's called like an invisible part. Like I don't want to have any leave out. I want all of my hair to be completely protected. So I want all of my natural hair to be braided down and covered with the black stocking cap and I just want to have like an invisible part so everything will be the quick weave but I want to do it in a way in which it doesn't look tacky or look you know look crazy so that's what I want to try the next time I do this I'll probably still leave out so you can see the little brown stocking cap right there so if this was black you you know wouldn't be able to tell the difference and then um, I think I will leave out some edges though, just in case I want to pull my hair back like this. So you can see the cap right there. So I'll probably leave out some more of my edges like underneath. So those are a few things that I would do differently when I try to do this. So um, yeah, I plan on washing this out this weekend or early next week. And hopefully I can reuse this hair. I like the length of it. I thought it was going to be too short when I took it out of the bag. But I think it is the perfect length. And I was even considering cutting this because I didn't want it to be too long. But I actually like it. I thought it looked really nice on me. So let's get the brush and comb out so we can curl this just a little bit we're not going to do too much because we're not going anywhere we're just going to film a few videos so let's see if we need to like clean up the part a little bit and y'all don't be looking for me to do anything profound or professional because when I say I'm a beginner at this I am a beginner at this like do my own hair no what and I had boys, so doing hair just was not a part of my job description. Was not a part of my job description. So I'm gonna have this little heat protector that I'm gonna spray on my hair. And then I wanna do a little bit, I'm gonna do this, cause it is a little dry. I'm gonna put on some moisturizer. So let's do that first. It is a little dry. Yes, yeah, so I need to redo my nails too because they are. I have press ons, you know, that's what I'm doing right now, and these are starting to lift at the base. So now, when I like rub my fingers through my hair, my hair is getting tangled inside, you know, where it's lifting. And that's not cool because 
then I'm pulling, you know, pulling at my hair. And we don't want to do that. So I think I'm going to redo them this weekend. I need to find some new ones. Like, I want to do some new designs. But you know me. Like, I'm so basic when it comes to that kind of stuff. Like, I don't want anything crazy. And I want something that's going to go with everything that I wear. Like, I don't want to do something that's loud. And then I'm wearing something totally, you know, calm, you know, toned down. Like, I just don't like that. I was very hesitant in doing these with the burgundy because, like, I'm not going to be wearing burgundy every day. But they worked out, so. And I think I like them better like this with, like, the French style versus the whole nail bin colored. I think I like this better. But we'll see. So I brushed the hair out so that it's not tangled. And y'all, do you see this gray hair? Like, I have so many pieces, so many gray pieces throughout my hair. Like, that is crazy to me. That is crazy. So I think I want to dye my hair. I think I want to dye hair, but I'm, I'm torn between the colors that i'm torn between the color that i want to dye it like i love black because it looks so luxurious it looks so healthy when your hair is black but i don't want it to be so black to it just looks wild like it looks crazy look like you're wearing a wig like i don't want it to be so harsh and then I was like, well, maybe I should dye it brown because my hair is naturally brown. But I've never done brown before. Like, I've never done a brown rinse. And it'll be a rinse. It, it will not be anything permanent. But I was like, I've never done brown. So I'm like, what? Like, what is that going to look like? Is it going to be brown, like, just my natural hair color, but brighter and more shinier? Or is it going to be, like, brown? I don't know. I'm just so confused when it comes to this type of stuff, y'all. I'm I just really am. I just really am. So, but anyway, let's spray. And I'm gonna spray this in my hand and then rub it on my hair because I feel like it makes my hair too wet when I spray it directly on my hair. So I'm just gonna spray it in my hand and then run it through my hair like this. Give it another brush. Okay, now let's throw some curls in it. So let's start on this side. So I'm gonna. this part and pin it up. So this part right here is my leave out. This is the quick weave. So, and I'm doing this just like real nonchalant, real laxadaisy quick. So nothing too, nothing perfect at all. Basically, I don't even like, um, let's see. I don't even like, okay. Yeah, I'm not even getting this right. But yeah, I was going to say, I don't even like for my hair to just look perfect. I like when it looks, you know, tossed around. So I don't be trying to do it too perfectly. One curl. Yeah, and I've really been liking just playing around with the curling iron and not having to worry about am I damaging my hair. So I really do like this a lot. I like this a whole lot. I just burned my finger, y'all. 
So tell me, girls, all of my natural girls, or even if you're not natural, you just like to, you know, have a break. What are you doing with your hair to just have that break? Are you wearing braids, doing wigs, sew-ins? Like, what are you doing? I love braids. That's what I had before I did this quick weave. But, um, I don't know. I mean, I, I like them. I, I don't think I have anything bad to say about them other than I don't like the the process. The long, you know, the time that it takes to get them in and the time that it takes to take them out. I don't like that. But, I mean, what are you going to do about it? But, yeah, I like braids. And I typically gravitate toward the um, knotless braids. I typically get that because they last a while like when i get braids girl i'm leaving them in my head for like two three months i don't care what nobody say i'm not getting them in and taking them out in a few weeks or a month like they're staying in my head until they're literally falling out of the scalp <laughs> maybe not that long but like i'm keeping them in for a while and i like the knotless braids um sometimes i get my natural hair braided in like the cornrows but i haven't had that in a while and when i get those you know they don't they're not gonna last as long because when it's your natural hair and their cornrows so they're gonna give you about two weeks but i haven't had that in a while but i do like that but yeah typically i all get the knowledge braids i used to years ago get the kinky twists i like those too but the last time I went, um, the lady was like, I couldn't get, well, she didn't say I couldn't get them, but she was saying that my hair was too long to get them. And I was like, what? Because I guess once she blow dried my hair and it was too long or something, she was like, you know, if you get the kinky twist, then... You know, they, they would have to be long. And I didn't want them to be long. I wanted a particular style. And they were short. And she was like, no, your hair is too long to get that. So I was like, oh, okay. So I guess I won't be getting kinky twists. But I did like those. I like those a lot. I've had them a few times back in the day. But, yeah, I don't know if I'll be getting those again. So, but, um... Yeah, I'm just going to take a break from the braids for a little while and do something else. I do have a few wigs that I wear. Um, I like those. I'm still figuring that out. That is definitely a learning curve with the wigs and the lace and all that stuff. It can be a bit overwhelming. So, um, I had to take a break from that. But I do like the wigs. I like the idea of, you know, you throw it on your head. Y'all look at me going the wrong way um i like the idea of just throwing it on your head go about your day and then you come home at the end of the day and take it off and you have you know your scalp is free it's easily accessible you can you know wash your hair anytime you want grease your scalp anytime you want like i like the flexibility of the wigs but sometimes i don't want to do all that like i just want to get up and do my hair like it's coming out of my scalp that's what i want sometimes so that's why i thought this was a great idea the quick weave because it's quick and easy like i don't need to do a whole sewing or anything like that i think this is this is good enough for me because this can get pricey like if i went to the salon to get this that'd be pricey so first you gotta buy the hair buy the bundles which i bought this from amazon for 40 dollars. it was what three bundles for 40 dollars i was like yeah let me get that because who's paying 100 dollars for a bundle of hair not me when i have perfectly good hair growing out of my scalp <laughs> like i'm not about to do that what <laughs> no means so yeah all right so i curled the quick weave now let's flat iron the leave out y'all 
I'm gonna put a little bit more heat with that. I'm just so scared, y'all. I'm so scared. I don't wanna damage my hair. Cause that was the whole purpose of me going natural three years ago, was to promote healthy hair. And I don't wanna now damage it with this heat and stuff, so. Yeah, let's do this real quick. I don't wanna do too many passes. With this flat iron to straighten it but i do want to get it you know as straight as i can so it looks like the quick weave so let's do that okay i think that's pretty good on that side let's do this side Y'all hear that music in the background? That's Alexa playing in the living room. Hopefully it won't cause any copyright issues. I have my door, I have the bedroom door closed and my closet door closed, but I can still hear like the, the bass. I don't know if you can. Okay, so that is as straight as I'm gonna do it. Now let's do a quick spiral curl on this make sure I'm holding this curling iron the right way because I don't want to have to do this too many times and I think I want to curl it like away from my face so do I want to do it this way Yeah, so what are you guys doing this weekend? It is the week before Easter. I'm not doing anything. Like I said, it is rainy today. Rainy and cold. So I am not leaving this house. I do need to run some errands. Like, go to Target. Okay, hold on, guys. I gotta concentrate. Wait, let me see. Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> Gotta concentrate, girl. But yeah, I do need to run some errands, like go to Target and pick up toiletries and stuff like that. But mm -mm, I don't feel like it. It's cold outside. Okay. I think I'm about to do this one again because it's not as curl as I want it. But let's comb it out and see. Let's just comb it out and see what we got. I mean, I think this is okay. What y'all think? Just gonna shake it a little bit in the back. Yeah, how did this come out? I think this came out nice. Yeah, this, is, this is good. Just to try on some clothes and film some videos. Yeah, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna go with this. I think this is good enough. Good enough. Okay, so let's do a lip. We're not gonna do, yeah, we're not gonna do anything else with the foundation or makeup, but we are gonna put on a lip. And just because I have these two products sitting on my vanity, we're gonna use those. And it is the Sephora lip liner and this is in the color molasses really pretty brown yeah really pretty brown the only thing i had on my lips was some aquaphor and then we're gonna use this Summer Fridays lip gloss. And this is in the color Vanilla Beige. So let's do a little bit too, which is also like a soft brown. Yeah, 
so that is the makeup look and the hair so let me know how you guys think i did with my hair and my very minimalistic makeup um let me show you the back i don't even know wait let me see what the back looks like before i show y'all okay it's not bad it's not bad yeah so that is the minimalistic hair and makeup from a complete beginner let me know down in the comment section below how do you think i did what would you have done differently whatever tips that you have when it comes to hair and makeup please leave them down in the comment section below help your girl out please but that brings us to the end of this video look forward to seeing you in the next one